Hello my friends, welcome to another review and today another fragrance review this time around one of my uh, favorite uh, designer houses uh, which is Ted Lapidus and the fragrance is Altamir this is a uh, very interesting composition if you ask me it's considered to be an oriental woody fragrance and uh, it first appeared on the market in uh, 2007 uh, the notes are uh, as they follow pineapple leaf, neroli, bergamot in the middle we're gonna find uh, cyclamine, orange blossom and jasmine and the base notes are made out of uh, amber, patchouli, musk, vetiver, thick wood and uh, tonka beans so how does it smell? and this is uh, the biggest surprise if you want because this fragrance smells exactly like a combination from uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal combined with uh, Thierry Mugler's Amen and also Givenchy's Pineo and I dare to say or to add to this list of uh, similarities I dare to add pure wood from the same Thierry Mugler house it's uh, it's very interesting trust me you're gonna feel or better said you're gonna smell uh, Le Mal you're gonna smell uh, Amen you're gonna smell uh, pure wood and you're gonna smell Givenchy to me it uh, reminds me a lot of uh, pure wood from uh, Thierry Mugler which is one of my favorite uh, fragrances designer fragrances and although in the notes there is no vanilla you're gonna definitely feel a big punch of vanilla in this fragrance I don't know why it isn't listed in the in the notes breakdown still I smell vanilla and as I said, it reminds me a lot, especially in the um, dry down of pure wood. In the opening, it reminds me, of course, a lot of uh, Le Mal combined with uh, Givenchy. And in the heart notes, it reminds me a lot of Amen. So this is what you're going to get from this fragrance. And for me, uh, this is very interesting because uh, if you ever wondered how you would smell wearing all those fragrances together then this is the answer Altamir by Ted Lapidus um, in terms of performance as always uh, Lapidus fragrances on my skin work excellent excellent I get roughly 12 hours of performing um, on my skin with this scent and I get a very good, constantly good uh, and powerful projection for about 5 hours afterwards as it develops throughout the wearing this uh, scent becomes uh, more and more a uh, skin scent but still it projects, it uh, still does its thing so it's very very good in terms of performance and uh, in terms of projection I highly recommend that you wear this uh, fragrance only in cold days uh, just like now it's winter, it's snowing, it's freezing cold outside I highly recommend that you wear it in, uh, in the spring and also in the autumn it's a very warm, very comforting if you want type of uh, fragrance also it's a very um, gourmand type of fragrance and that's mainly because uh, of the tonka the amber and also as I said the vanilla note that uh, does not appear in the in the breakdown of this fragrance but my nose uh, sense it so uh, group H what can I say I would uh, highly recommend this fragrance to be worn by uh, people at least 25 years old um, highly recommend it to wear it casually and also you can wear this uh, in the office but be very very careful how many sprays you apply on the skin because this is a very powerful 
uh, scent. Trust me. We're going to get a lot of compliments with this one because uh, it does attract a lot of compliments. And although Ted Lapidus uh, says that this is a uh, man fragrance, and I understand why, because you have a lot of uh, vetiver, a lot of patchouli, you have um, uh, amber, you have musk, and so on. Still, because you have uh, the flower, uh, the flowers inside, this fragrance, in my honest opinion, could be. Uh, worn by women also. I'm not saying that uh, every woman could uh, pull this off, but um, let's say someone uh, more daring that's not afraid to, to try something new could actually pull, uh, pull this scent off. off. So um, I would say that this is um, a rather unisex uh, fragrance if you want to some extent although this is definitely manly enough to be worn by uh, by men but not everyone uh, can wear it and that's why I'm saying that uh, you need to be a little more experienced when wearing this one you need to understand what uh, it tries to, to to say you need to to know um, and to be how should I say it uh, in touch with your feminine side if you want <laughs> mainly to due to the flowery notes and also the uh, sweet uh, notes because as I said and I'm repeating myself it smells a lot like uh, vanilla that's why I said that this one reminds me a lot of um, pure wood from Thierry Mugler because in that one you get vanilla and you also get sandalwood and uh, that's the exact same smell that I get from this one right here. What can I say? Excellent, in my honest opinion, this uh, fragrance Altamir from Ted Lapidus. Very cheap also, you can buy it for uh, something around uh, 25 euros. So it's a very, very cheap one. And um, I actually prefer this to many other fragrances that I have in my collection. And I highly encourage you, uh, if you're interested in this type of scent, to, to try it out. Um, you may like it. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace.